of the four major lakes in the country, Lake Chiuta is shallow, small, and lies north of Lake Chirwa, while 20% of it is on the borderlines with Mozambique. The lake is 64 kilometers long and 13 kilometers wide. It is known to be home to over 37 fish species, with predominant ones being Chambo, Matemba, and Mlamba. Lake Chiuta is a lifeline for thousands of people living closer to it, with over 2,000 fishermen plying their trade, and the lake provides 70% of proteins to the people here. A study conducted years back paged the lake's total annual economic benefits at 13 million US dollars or over 9.3 billion kwacha at the present exchange rate. During this year's rainy season, Machinga received 500 of the required 900 millimeters of rainfall, a development that has contributed to the drying up of rivers, including two major ones that supply Lake Chiuta in April. Five months before the next rains, disaster is twisting up for the people here. This area could have been covered by water, but now fishermen walk on the lake bed for two kilometers before they find waters. The fish catches have drastically dwindled. Some fishermen are first abandoning their structures following the low levels of water, while others are opting for a complete relocation in search for food. Economic lifeline is fast deteriorating. Supply chain is falling apart and hopes are rumbling against hopes. This lake was deep and we used it to catch big fish here. Now the lake is gone and the fish catches are small. I'm just so poor to survive here. Now I will relocate to Lake Chirwa. My only fear is cholera, which has killed people there. We have tried all means to survive. Now we are digging these small dams to save us from this calamity. Unless they support us with appropriate means, we will stop farming on the lake bay. For now, we will continue. I stopped making money here way back. There are no people here to patronize my tea room. They have all disappeared. In desperate attempts to survive, for the first time, farmers here are digging small dams on the lake bed to do irrigation which they never embraced. Perhaps a good idea wrongly executed. Farming on the lake is in conflict with both the fisheries and agricultural policies as it poses danger to the existence of both the lake and aquatic species. Of course, it might have uh, uh, implications in the future, but uh, this is not a, a usual thing. It has just uh, happened this year because of uh, uh, the hunger people are having. So if they are going into uh, lecture farming, and definitely we are making sure that uh, they should follow good agricultural practices. Daniel Jamu is an expert on fisheries and thinks the situation needs collaborated efforts by all players to come up with short and long-term response plans aimed at improving management of the catchment area, support ideal irrigation and promote co-management of the resources in the lake. Our main concern is that uh, uh, as the, the, uh, the lake is drying, uh, the area where the fish is is getting smaller. It's making it easier for the fishermen to catch the fish. So now we will not have enough fish to repopulate the lake uh, next year. So that's our major concern. Questions people are asking is why has this become a shock to the people here when institutions could have issued early warnings, prepared the people and develop a systematic response? 
That's what we're trying to figure out at the moment at Chancellor College. We're developing a predictive early warning system based on what has happened in this particular lake. And we also try to use various indigenous indicators to see if there can be a way of predicting, to say if this happens, then the lake is going to behave like this. So it's a study that is still ongoing. Information available states that this is the second time for Lake Chiuda to desiccate and in the long run, the lake risks being covered by soils, considering that by 2009, its deepest end had reduced to 3 meters from 5. Like elsewhere in the region, Malawi's water bodies are drying up or losing water at alarming levels, including the country's biggest water body, Lake Malawi, which is the lifeline for thousands of people and also for power generation. These people need a rescue and this is an evidence of how much climate change is affecting people, not just here in Malawi, but Africa and beyond. Matthews Malata, NBC News, Lake Chuta, Machinga.